Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Olivia, a bilingual speech language pathologist and also a mama to an 18 month old little girl. Today I wanted to talk to you about Montessori, um, just some basic one on one information about it and also why are we using it with our daughter and how we're using it more importantly because it is really it's a whole lifestyle if you're really following the Montessori approach exactly how it should be in the home it's a lot of adapting your environment it's a process and we are not following it exactly but there are certain parts that we really love and there's a lot of great research supporting it let me actually go back and talk about what is Montessori so the this approach began uh, with a woman a doctor in Italy um, her name was Marie Montessori and this was over a hundred years ago and she began this process this way of teaching children she actually worked with children who had special needs and she just had some great research if you are interested in having more information about um, really following it to the T Montessori there is a great mama out there that i love watching if you end up watching this hi ashley i will link her youtube channel down below um, she has some great resources and trainings about really following it step by step what we've done in our home we've adopted it we kind of focus more on the learning aspect of montessori uh, which basically focuses on using toys that are more natural so wooden toys as opposed to a plastic um, light up we did this for a couple of reasons one of the reasons that we decided to use this approach with our daughter is because there really is some great research about the fact that providing some open-ended play and allowing your child to explore their toys significantly helps with their development and it's really important to provide opportunities for your little ones for your children or if you're a speech pathologist and you're you want to incorporate this into your practice it's really important to allow the child to be engaged with their toys one of the philosophies it's a quote that i love so much and it says the focus of montessori is active learning and play and not passive entertainment I just thought that's so wonderful, right? Like I think of putting on the TV or putting on some kind of screen for a child and that really is that like passive entertainment where they're not really engaged with the toys and that's just not something that we wanted for our daughter and it honestly when we decided that this is what we're doing a lot of times we were given certain presents from family members who are super generous and were coming from a beautiful place they gave amazing toys and we noticed that if our daughter had the option of having a toy that lights up and has all this you know bells and whistles attached to it she will gravitate towards that toy as opposed to a set of wooden blocks so it's something to think about where a lot of people who decided to go on this journey and using toys that are more open play wooden not the flashy screens lights bells and whistles they kind of had to go through the toys they already had and get rid of a lot of things and donate them because you will see your child gravitating more towards those toys but they're not really learning from them and so if you're on this channel i know you're a mama who is attentive and is an alpha and you want to make sure that your child is getting the best toys possible and so the toys that will actually encourage development and so that is the reason that we decided to go down this route and so i'm hoping to make this a little bit more of a series and to have some more videos about how we're using montessori what's working for us but again the philosophy behind it could be used throughout the day where there's different manipulation of furniture as far as how the baby is sleeping how they're getting their food there's a lot of focus on independence which is great positive discipline these are all these different approaches and again it could be overwhelming i felt overwhelmed uh, when i was first starting and i didn't want to get discouraged and not do anything so for me 
I felt like, okay, well, let me start with at least the learning aspect, the toys, the developmental aspect. Coming from a speech pathology background, th these are the kind of toys that I would use coming into therapy, working with students. And so I wanted to continue that with my own daughter. And for me, adapting some of the other aspects, just it, it didn't work for us. Uh, we, we felt like it was a lot. And my suggestion, if I could make that suggestion to a friend, to you, is that you know you don't have if it's overwhelming for you maybe start with it with something small like some of the toys because that is crucial toddlers infants newborns the way they learn is through play and so that is their school that is their university so if there's one thing that you want to invest in or focus your attention on i would highly recommend really thoroughly choosing your toys i know there's a lot of great subscriptions out there we've used love every that's a great company they're pricey and so there's ways that you could adapt that but you could at least get some ideas of what could be useful or what is developmentally appropriate and i'll kind of focus on some of my favorites throughout my journey but i would love to hear what are some of your favorite parts of montessori have you tried it do you like it do you hate it and any other information that you might want to hear what would you like to hear from me as far as how i'm using montessori with my daughter how i'm using some of these toys that are encouraging open and a play encouraging using their imagination and finally please comment like and subscribe that really helps the channel if you have a specific question for me check out my website olivialiberatory.com you can reach out to me with something more personal we can chit chat there i'd love to hear from you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one